<laughs> Hi, hello and welcome to Simonson Farms. I'm Justin Simonson. Um, we're just going to go straight for the walking and talking. Um, we'll, we'll get that illusion that something interesting is actually happening when maybe there isn't. Uh, but we're still, we're still dealing with a quad track in the shop. Um, we've got some parts coming that we're waiting on. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, there's difficulty in the world right now, and it, it's making uh, things difficult. So we don't care about that. You know, I've, I've got a direction that I need to get uh, things headed in, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to that. So um, fo follow my compass. It points north, and I'm going to go north, right? Uh, but honestly, I'm going to try to limit the amount of uh, my my complaining and just generally whining about uh, having poorly made things or poorly designed or just poor, poorly executed things. And there I am again, uh, but I'm going to try to limit uh, my, my complaining because uh, nobody wants to hear me complain about this unless they really do, in which case, you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy, boy, can I oblige such an offer. So uh, let's go ahead and see what, what I've got going on here. All right. What we've got going on here, we've got parts going back on. Always a good thing. Uh, if you can see, we've got the uh, intake put back together here and the engine oil manifold and oil filters put back on. Those of you with sharp eyes that see those uh, oil filters and say they look all scarred up and weird, it's because we put the used ones back on because we're deleting some engine stuff and because the engine manifold or uh, filter manifold, sorry, excuse me, <clears throat> was removed uh, we need to circulate some oil through the engine before we can have any real good faith in, in it so rather than spin on new oil filters and change the oil here shortly and you know, throw throw those essentially brand new filters away i mean there's there's a little risk to that using these old old filters that we could be contaminating the engine or something like that, but we're we're gonna save or save a couple of bucks by just doing these filters here. Um, there's a little bit I'll be talking about with the filter manifold, fil filter body, whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's nothing big. Here we've got the oil filter uh, manifold body. So, something like that. Uh, this face here that we're pulling part, or I'm pulling parts off of, no royal we here, uh, that bolts up directly to the oil cooler on the engine block. Uh, at any rate, what we're doing here is we're going after, uh, it's really hard to tell in that deep dark hole, but there's the oil filter bypass valve down there, um, which <laughs> isn't in the parts book. Uh, but if we remove this plug right here, uh, pardon the Oompa Loompa hands, rubber gloves are nice for this kind of work. Uh, if we remove this plug, we can get to the back end and that's how that valve is driven out. It's, you push it from the filter side out this plug and you know, it releases, which is, which is nice. <laughs> Cause look at that. The, the, all, all the trouble that we're having is maybe, probably, caused by this little valve. Um, in addition to that, we're also replacing this thermostat valve uh, for oil temperature. Maybe we can keep the oil from overheating. As for the stuff going on back there, uh, we actually have a, a cover made up for where that bizarre... Well, this thing over here, this, uh, I did sit down and think about it a little bit and uh, this, this is set up 
to where it would drive the engine with exhaust gas because the inlets or the the outlet of the turbine on on the engine was outletting to here so this is the inside and then it was coming out of here so it was spinning round and then coming out the side which means it was probably driving the turbine wheel in that turbine housing which would then drive that gear which then drives the gearing inside that gear case and <laughs> allegedly adds horsepower to the to the engine uh, the model below this i think is a 435 so some somehow they must think that's adding something like 50 extra horsepower <laughs> uh, the the real hiccup that we're running into is that this exhaust tubing uh, is a non-standard size wouldn't you know it so the outlet from the the turbo and getting that hooked up to the muffler is is proving to be something of a challenge i mean as you can see here we have a dearth of measuring tools because we've been measuring and measuring and measuring <sighs> trying to figure out how to make this go together what fun so maybe here in a little bit we'll we'll have this plugged all the way together plugged uh, i said we've got a cover made up to cover cover that uh there's some covers already in there uh this one down here that's really hard to see and then there's a uh, shiny new plug up th there too that is blocking off ports that were uh, oil oil ports for this compound turbo whatever you want to call it and and that's all the fun we're having there for those of you who might know something about these quad track tractors um there's kind of a problem with them and that is well as you can see we've got bearings on the floor we've got a bare spindle in between two two uh, track frame mid rollers or bogey wheels depending on what you want to call them it's it's this bearing system all along the track frame here uh, these these bearings fail often um, now there's uh, five we're showing here there's another five on the back side which makes for ten at one corner you know, there's there's four corners so there's there's 40 of these bearings all together and they're failing often you know, sometimes within 500 hours and <laughs> yeah i mean that's the same one in 500 hours we have another tractor that we've done that before uh, we've replaced uh, one of these the the rollers we've replaced the bearings and seals in it and had you know the the following year we're replacing the bearings and seals again uh, this this is a case of bad engineering and continued bad engineering and continued bad engineering good news the the newest models of of these tractors i, I think after i want to say 2000 18 or 2019 model year and going forward um, they should have resolved this issue uh, hooray um, the bad thing is uh, if anyone doesn't know the history uh, these quad track tractors first made their way into the world in 1997 and virtually none of this has changed until uh, what whatever years it was i just said 2017 18 or 19. so uh, almost 20 years later the a, a known problem was finally engineered out of these tractors 
Wunderbar. <laughs> oh, oh man. Um, as someone who once made their living as a mechanic, you have no idea how angry that makes me. <laughs> uh, as somebody who has to, you know, has, has a business that is bearing the expense of, of this um, lapse of judgment, let's call it. Let's be diplomatic here. Um, you know, that, that is frustrating to me. You know, I, I have talked with uh, representatives for uh, the case IH, CNH Industrial, the, the works. I've, I've talked with uh, sales reps and factory reps about this, and you know they have, they have agreed with me in the, a, a chorus in harmony saying that this is a problem, and it, it took 20 years for, for this problem to get engineered out. So um, if you'd like to learn more about this, you know, the, the track frame, all of that, I, I can talk at length about it. I, I have easily 12 minutes of video just me ranting about this. So uh, to spare you that, I've trimmed it down to this instead. So Let, let's move on to something that's less aggravating, huh? <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what's going on here. We've got <sighs> tractor to work on, but uh, good news, uh, the weather may or may not comply sometime here in the next uh, few days, weeks even, and we might be able to get some field work done uh, for reals, uh, you know, for, for actual serious godforsaken goodness. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it is happening, it's just not happening very fast. You know, for some reason, uh, spring went and put the brakes on and winter still is kind of clutched on and that's almost a little depressing and, and I'm not much of a spring guy so um, at any rate that's that's all I've got for you right now um, if if you want to leave me a comment ask me a question something like that I'd, I'd be very much appreciative of that you know I'm I, I really feel like you know, I, I need to answer some, some questions and uh, all the questions that I come up with, they're maybe not so good. So uh, if, if you think you can come up with a question, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. Uh, you know, I, I will be reading those. So uh, gosh, yeah, I think that's all I can do right now. So um, I've got to get back to work, but I'll see you next time.